Hello and welcome to another episode of my channel. This episode is talking about tips for ODS. I had some requests for this, so I will give you some of my tips and if this sparks another video or more questions, then I can always do another video after this. So number one, ODS or Officer Development School, it is located in Newport, Rhode Island. So the time of the year that you go to ODS is really going to influence on your experience there. I went to ODS, ODS in December, which was bone chilling freezing. I don't recommend going during that time. If you have a say on the time frame that you can go to ODS, I would recommend more April, May time frame uh, where the weather is much more beautiful. Number two, go to the Navy Officer Development School website and read it in its entirety. The website give you, gives you lots of info on what to expect and what you will be learning in ODS. It literally tells you everything you need to take and bring all of the important documents which are all listed on that website. Number three, print a copy of the ODS required knowledge memorize that knowledge before you even get to ODS. It will make your life so much easier to have already memorized all of that material. The items you'll be required, or some of the items that you'll be required to memorize are things like the Sailor's Creed, the Phonetic Alphabet, the 11 General Orders of the Century, and your Chain of Command. So starting with the President of the United States all the way down to who your class leader is going to be. Number four, be prepared to live in the barracks for about five weeks with a roommate. Learn to share and work as a team. Trust me, the more your class works together as a team, the better your experience in ODS will be. Number five, start running, doing sit-ups, do push-ups in general. Just make sure you're in good physical shape so you don't have to worry about falling out of a run or physical training session. Although I personally don't think that ODS is that hard when it comes to the physical aspect. If you're not used to working out, it can be difficult. You will be required to pass a physical readiness test, much the, basically the same physical readiness test that you'll have to complete every six months while you're in the military. Uh, you'll have to do that while you're at ODS, so you might as well just be in good physical condition before you even get there. Number six, learn how to swim. You'll be surprised a lot of people go to ODS or want to join the Navy who don't even know how to swim. So learn how to swim and feel comfortable in the pool before you get to ODS. You will have to pass a swim test consisting of a 10 foot jump off of a platform, floating for five minutes, uh, swimming 50 yards and inflating your uniform to act as a flotation device. Number seven, be prepared to spend some money. Yes, you will have to have money in your bank account to spend both while you're at ODS. You're gonna have to purchase your uniforms, for number one. Um, your uniforms cost anywhere between three to $4,000. You'll also have to pay for all your meals that you eat at the galley, which is the Navy term for cafeteria. It's also good to have some extra spending money for snacks, uh, eating out on the weekends or during your time off, uh, any toiletries that you wanna get while you're there, and then you probably will wanna have some spending money for souvenirs that you wanna buy while in the Newport area if you've never been there. Also, be prepared to not get your first paycheck until probably around the last week of ODS. Uh, the Navy will back pay you, but the Navy has a way of just taking a long time to start your paychecks. Once you get your regular payments and they're on board, then usually there's no problems after that. Number eight, you can bring your cell phone and your laptop 
you will not be allowed to use your cell phone in class or during or during training evolution so just make sure anyone who is going to try to contact you or call you just let them know that you will be able to call them back but maybe not right away tip number nine your uh, days typically start at 0430 and end around 1700 which is like 5 p.m so your days are filled with classes and learning about navy required knowledge so just get used used to the idea of having kind of long days and waking up early in the morning tip number 10 get the help of prior enlisted uh, they'll teach you how to wear your uniform, how to shine your shoes, make your room inspection ready, and help you learn what the different Navy lingo and terminology mean. I was already a prior. I had nine years of enlisted experience, and I noticed that, you know, just my enlisted experience, I had so much knowledge already of military life, so definitely, definitely seek out your prior enlisted officers to help you during ODS. Number 11, and quite possibly the most important thing, is have fun while you're in ODS. Play the game. In the beginning, you will get yelled at full metal jacket style, but it doesn't last that long. It lasts maybe you know, about a week or two. After that, the focus is more on giving you the knowledge on how to be a leader and an officer and teaching you about the different programs and policies while you're in the Navy. Um, build relationships and make friends and connections while at ODS. Seriously, one of the best things about being in the military is the camaraderie with your fellow officers those friendships and connections that you make in ods will and can last years and years after ods uh, lastly seriously again read everything on the official ods website and take the time to really look at the videos and the links that are provided on the website that's what i did before i went to ods and i felt pretty prepared if you have any questions please Put a comment down below like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content i'm putting out i hope this video was helpful and good luck on your journey